Okay, YouTube, my current project right now that I'm working on is refining sterling silver into pure 999 plus fine silver. I'm going to walk you through that entire process right now. So let's get going. All right, so the first order of business that we're going to do is measure out how much silver we want. So right now I'm looking at, uh, so right at a kilo, so I want to do about a kilo. Um, so let's get that going. All right, so that's that's a little over a kilo. So this is what we're melting today. All right, so what we're going to start with right now is going to be a large beaker, so a 5,000 mil beaker. And to this, we're going to add a thousand mils of distilled water. And a thousand. All right, so with that, we're going to do this outside. Um, but we're going to put in one liter of nitric acid into this 1,000 mils of water to make a dilute nitric acid. So let's get set up outside and uh, get, put it on the heater and get going. All right, so what we're going to do first, we're going to heat up all of this silver. We're going to uh, get any grease or anything else that might be on it. Um, so uh, let's get that done. I'm going to keep this. 
<clears throat> Nothing wrong with that chain. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and test these to see if they are silver. don't think they are No, no, they are not. So we don't use those. That's steel. All right, so we got that done. Let's go uh, get the hot plate, the solution, and the uh, the acid. We'll get going. Okay, so this reaction is complete. It's been boiling for a little while here, but there's no more free nitric acid involved here. So it's all used up and now we have silver nitrate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it off the heat and we're going to let it come down to room temperature. And then we'll have to, uh, we'll filter it then after it cools down. All right, so this has been sitting for about an hour. Uh, it's back down to 
you know temperature outside so uh, now we can go inside and strain this and uh, go from there all right so what we've got is we've got our silver that's been dissolved into the solution um, completely the only thing that we had left after that uh, 1,000 grams um, I had to add a, a little bit more silver into it and uh, this is uh, I did two spoons and a fork and uh, you can see we were pretty close so uh, that's what we had left out of that so now what we have to do is we have to filter this solution um, right now it's full of just gunk you know just different pieces it'll be a little bit of uh you know little gold flakes and stuff like that that uh was used it'll have uh some other stuff in there but we need to filter all that out because we need a really really clean clean solution um to um, be able to get the silver back out of it so we're gonna run it through this uh filter with a pump on it and uh we're gonna take one of these filter pads discs we're gonna throw it on there and uh, get going. Now this will take a little bit of time because um, once this filter gets you know full of stuff, it tends to um, take a little while. But we'll get it. We'll get it done. gloves here because you get this stuff on your hands it will turn black I've got some black spots on me right now and it will be there for a week Now we'll just keep doing this over and over again until we're all done. So I'll come back and when we're at the last little bit and show you. Okay, so we're all done filtering the solution. And as you can see, the, the blue color here. That is full. It's hard to believe that that can have 30 troy ounces of silver, you know, pure silver, dissolved in that. But that's what we have. Um, all of the gunk and stuff that was in the, the sterling that we have is now caught up in the filter up here. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this solution. We're going to pour it into a clean um, beaker here. And then we're going to double the... The solution with with water so we're going to dilute it with water so this is going to come up to around 2000 mils and uh, we're going to double it up to four and then we're going to split it in half and put it into another clean beaker and i'm going to do two different things i'm going to uh, this beaker i'm going to take out the silver with copper and this beaker i'm going to do a little experiment and take out the silver um, as silver chloride with some muriatic acid and then I'm going to rinse that out and then we're going to put some sulfuric acid in there and um, change the silver um, we're going to turn it into silver with using uh, an, a steel uh, bar so that's what we're going to do now so let me get some gloves on and we'll get that done told you that there was uh, some gold and stuff that that happens that was in here and it's it's always in there I don't know where it's from or, or what but as you can see we got a 
bunch of uh, all that black stuff, you know, just all the dirt and everything that was in the sterling. So that's done. We saved those those papers and everything for a later date. So let's go ahead and get this dumped into into this beaker here. So we're going to stir this up because the plain water sometimes doesn't like to play nice and mix. All right, so I'm going to take 2,000 mils of this and uh, put it into another beaker. Okay, what you're going to see here is I'm going to put these copper bus bars. This is pure copper. Um, I clean these up before I put them in here just to make sure that I don't get any contamination or anything. And it's going to happen immediately. What's going to happen is the copper is going to be, it's going to go into solution. And the silver is going to come out of solution and uh, form on this copper bar here and then fall, um, you know, fall down after, uh, under its own weight. So... So it's pretty neat. Again, it happens it happens right away. Um, it'll take a little time for all of it to, um, you know, come out of solution, but uh, eventually it will. And then we'll rinse it and dry it, and get it ready for some shot. So let's get that done. And you always want to wear gloves. It will make your hands black for a week, maybe two. All right, here we go. All right, you get the idea. This is just going to run for a while until uh, until it's done. So probably be until early in the morning, a um, couple hours. Um, but uh, until no more no more silver forms on this copper, uh, we'll let it run until it's done. All right. Okay, so this solution is done now. This is the one we got the silver out with the copper. I pulled all the copper pieces out. So we're going to pour off this solution into a collection bin so we can later get the copper out of it. Uh, we'll do that with iron, just like we did with the, the silver with the copper. We'll put in iron and the copper will come out. So we'll do that at a later time. Uh, so I'm going to rinse this, uh, rinse the the silver several times until all of the uh, the copper is out of it and then we're gonna dry it so I'll go do that now and we'll come back okay so after several rinses this water is now clear this is the silver that was in there and the you see the blue it took about 1600 mils of distilled water 
to get all of that copper solution out of there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer the silver from here into our, our funnel and uh, get it as dry as we can in there before we dry the, the silver. So I'll go do that. Spray bottle is really helpful with all of this. silver out of there. So I'm going to rinse this out with some hot distilled water real quick. See the water just runs right through this silver. Alright. So now we're going to dry this, this powder. Um, and we're going to dry it and then we'll get it ready for, for making silver shot. I'm going to show you a quick view of this real quick. And that's our, our silver powder, or they call it silver cement. This is our two silvers that we have. This is the silver that we got from using the copper to get the silver out. As you can see, it's a lighter color. I find that this is what I normally get with, uh, with that process. And then the silver chloride um, tends to be a little bit darker in color. I don't know why. It might be because of the, the grain structure that comes out, because this is more of a, a powder um, that's formed when I do this. But uh, it all comes out as, as silver in the end. So we're going to go and take this and melt it down and make uh, silver flake, um, silver shot, whatever you want to call it. I try to get the, the flakes because it has a little bit more surface area for the silver cell. 
So we're going to go over and we're going to do that now. Okay, what we have here is we have a ceramic crucible with a little hole drilled in it for the shot to go through. We've got a stainless steel pan full of water and we have a water pump. So we're going to have that water pump go in there and circulate the water as the shot comes through so it cools it out so it doesn't end up in one big lump. We're going to have two torches. We've got the map gas torch going on the bottom and we're going to have a uh, welding set up uh, for the top to melt it. And this is our this is our silver shot that we get. That's what we're getting. That's what we're gonna put in our silver cell. The next part in this process is the construction of the silver cell. I have used a stainless steel bowl with a lid that I've cut a little hole in. And that's going to go on here like this. And then this is a basket with a shop back filter in it. And right now it's got some silver shot in there already from the previous one that I did. And we've got an anode, which is made out of pure silver. Uh, that's where we're going to hook up our electricity to. So the silver cell is basically just like we created the solution where we pulled the silver out with the copper. If we take that solution, that nitric acid, and we dissolve pure silver into it, it comes out instead of that blue color, it comes out clear. And this is the solution that we use for our silver cell. Now this has got five liters in it and it's fairly new. I've only ran a little bit of silver through it. Maybe a slight tint of blue, but not much. It has 150 grams of silver per liter. So we're going to take this solution. We're going to put it in our bowl and assemble it and then hook the power up to it and start running it. Now again, this is this is silver nitrate, so it will uh, it will stain your hands black again. I know I've said it several times, but it will do it. You won't even know that it happened until you go outside.
Should be good where we are. Let's put our lid on. All right, so now we're going to put our anode, or I mean our, our shot basket in here. You see this has got some holes, holes cut out in it so that the solution can get up inside of the basket. Just kind of push that down. Yeah, it's full of, uh, full of solution right now. So at this point, this is our shot that we just did um, the other day. And we're going to take this and fill up our basket completely. Okay, then we're going to take our anode Kind of put that on the top, and I like to bury it a little bit or you know, fill it up on the sides. So now we're going to work on the electricity part. Now I've got this set up so, so I can clip it back here. And that goes to the stainless bowl. And I've got a couple of clips. So we get good, good contact. So I got that in three spots, and then the power goes up into the anode. Again, the anode's made out of pure silver. This uh, bar is a piece of one troy ounce bar that I just cut a sliver of and I melted it down and stuck it in there. So, let me turn the power on. We leave this at 3.5 volts. So 3.5 volts, you can see it's running right now at uh, 2.51 amps. And uh, this will continue to go. Um, you won't be able to see anything for another couple of minutes or so, but it will slowly start to plate the inside of the stainless bowl with silver crystals. So I will show you that. This is the silver crystal that we're going to be harvesting. So once this is gone for a little while, this will form out on the inside of that bowl and then we will scrape that down and this is what we'll end up with. So let's give it some time. We'll be back. Okay, so we're several hours into this now, probably about five or maybe six hours um, into it and the silver has already started to plate on the inside of that stainless steel bowl and I just wanted to show you guys real quick um, you know what it looks like because you'll be able to see it now it looks like little little diamonds you know plating on the inside there um, we'll also top off the uh, the silver we'll pull this up and let it sit a little bit and I'm not going to add any uh, silver at this time but I do want to show you the, you know, what happens here. So, I got a fire now. Show you on the inside there. So you can see all that. That's that's pure silver being plated on the inside of the bowl. So we'll just let the uh, just let the. Um, 
you know, power supply run its course and eventually that'll run through probably five troy ounces a day uh, go through that so when it's done I'll show you the process of getting all the the silver crystal out of there and washed okay it's been about a day and a half now all of the silver that we've had is now in that basket and I uh, just wanted to give you a quick view of the status of where it is right now so take a look doing pretty good all right All right, it should be done within, you know, another day or so, maybe two days. We'll come back when it's done and we'll scrape it all out. We are now done with the silver that we had being used up and plated on the inside of this bowl. So let's turn off the power. And we're going to get our anode out of here. Shot basket. Okay. We got some pretty neat crystals growing in there. Yeah, really neat. You need to watch this so that the crystals don't grow all the way up uh, and hit that anode basket. I didn't have enough shot to do that. And uh, let me let you see what we got going on in there. Some pretty neat stuff. A really nice one down there. I'm going to get that one out eventually. All right. So the way I've got this set up, I've got a, a vacuum pump going into here uh, with a tube coming across, and we'll be able to get the liquid out pretty easy so we'll start that up Okay, so I've got most of that liquid off. As you can see, that's all the silver crystal on the inside of this. I'm going to switch. You see the solution is now bluish. Um, it was clear when we started out. That's just the leftover copper contaminants that was in that silver shot that is gone now. So that is 999 plus uh, silver crystal. Um, we're going to change the the cap now over to the other one. This is our rinse water on the one on the right, and we're going to wash this out and uh, get the, the rinse water out of there.
Okay, so what we're left with is uh, our silver crystal. I'm going to show you a few pieces in here. This one was pretty cool. Look at that one. That one's neat. We'll save that one. I wonder how much this weighs. A little hefty. 1.4 grams. Yeah, we'll save that one. Um, here's some of the really delicate ones. Let's see if I can get one of these out. You can see it's pretty neat. Very delicate. They'll crush up and just, now it's already starting to fall apart. Okay. So we're left with just the pure silver crystal. So we're going to scrape this from the bowl. We got a really strong, strong spatula here. It's really rigid um, compared to other ones, but this one works really, really well. Uh, we're going to scrape this bowl out. You can see what we have in there. It's all the the silver crystal that's been purified. It's nine 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 plus. So I'm going to scrape that bowl down. I'm going to get the crystal out. Put it in another bowl. Rinse it a couple times and we're done. I'm not going to go over the, the melting of this crystal into bars and whatnot because I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet. This comes off really, really easy. I can tell you if you bump this voltage up, you will uh, have a really tough time getting this off because it really plates the, uh, the bowl to the point where... It comes off in sheets. So 3.5 is really the magic number that you're looking for. Might be tempting because, I mean, it does go faster when you up the voltage, but it takes just way more time to scrape this off the, the sides. No, it's okay if a little bit stays on there. I mean, we'll use this bowl again, you know. Okay, so we're going to go rinse this a couple of times until it's, uh, until I'm sure that there's no more no silver nitrate in there and uh, dry it up and be done. So that's what we got. Okay, and our finished product. This is what we got. All dried up and ready to go, melted into whatever we want. All right, thanks for watching.